story starts in media res. Uh, the current situation <clears throat> is that soon after the obliteration of the Interstellar Navy fleet, the Separatists brought in plentiful reinforcements that are being deployed across Kree's. Your squad has been sent on a recon patrol towards the suspected Separatist encampment on the other side of some tall hills, which is right there. Uh, yeah, I mean, narratively, uh, if you want to, uh, Bill. Uh, so, uh, on the other side of the hill, you're currently on foot with all of your gear, having been dropped off by a transport car to scout on foot. Uh, once you've assessed whether or not the enemy is there, you'll return to the road and signal for an extraction, which will take you back to your base of operations at FOB Taurus. That was the script then, but things changed pretty rapidly. As you trudge across the alien tundra, uh, you actually hear your helmet comms crackle with static as what sounds like a distress call plays. The message is from an officer that you recognize as the commander of FOB Taurus, as well as your company, Captain Lope. And through the static and background gunfire, you hear him shout, All call signs, fall back to FOB Taurus on the double. We are under attack. Repeat, we are under attack. And it then cuts out. But in the background, you're pl hearing like plenty of gunfire and explosions and shit. So, uh, it would seem that you now have your first big decision to make. Do you fall back to FOB Taurus, or do you take a gamble and head towards the location of a separatist base out in the wilderness? And as a reminder, you guys are right here. This icon represents your squad. We're on foot currently, right? Yes. You were dropped off here. Like, there was a car uh, that sent you here dropped you off and you were starting to do like a foot because the problem is the terrain up here is too steep for driving up so if we get up uh, to the top I see of the we hill, head back would... hold on one at a time if we're up on the top of the hill would we be able to see the uh, FOB from up there Potentially. Which reminds me that I do need to make a certain roll. I'm not it's not like a secret roll, but um so roll a D six. Uh and I should also mention that the time at the start of the campaign is afternoon. So let's see. Roll slash R D six. Uh well, the good news for you is that uh it was initially the weather was cloudy and somewhat, you know, not as bright uh the weather clears up so for once it's like there's still clouds in the sky it's still snowing uh but it's actually you know a lot lighter out uh, so you would actually have better visibility in general what did you want to do laser okay Personally, what I would recommend is go heading back to Taurus. Uh, we don't know, uh, we're supposed to scout out a separatist base, right? But yeah, the separatist base is suspected to back to Taurus. Yeah, uh, I'd say FOB Taurus is a, a better bet just because we don't know how long it'll take to get there or if we can get there in our current situation. And we've currently received uh, uh, some pretty uh, some pretty clear orders telling us to head back to base. Yep. And it sounded like they were under attack. Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 yeah. Now let's head back. Now we're just losing our only possibility of resupply. So. Or any form of resupply, so I'm all for heading back to Taurus. Right. So I need to check uh, travel for a sec. So, uh, because there is actually there are um, modifiers for marching. Um, where is okay marching? So um, in this case, the uh, first um, <sighs> sort of thing is. Um, so, under good circumstances, you can march two hexes per shift uh, on a road or an open terrain, off-road, uh, on any terrain except open, you can march one hex per shift. But this is open terrain, so you can march two hexes uh, per shift. So, the question is, are you going to go straight up the road, or are you going to go here and then here? So, 
so where and where exactly? Um, so I'll draw the draw the two routes. So you can either go here, or you can go along the road here for your first march. So the speed would be the same, right? The speed would be the same because this is uh, open yeah. terrain. Do we have to do anything like recon? Um, I'd say that's up to you. Because the current status okay, just... okay, I say we more we should actually go on force march if you because uh, things seem critical. I'm all for going down the road. Yeah, do we have a vehicle at the moment or not? No. Uh -huh. Okay. As just a meta note, you will be getting your vehicle. Uh, but it's just like for the sake of this, it's not like a case where you just start out with it. Okay. Because the current Did status is that front? you were. Sorry, what, Tom? Did you want me up front? Give it his laser again. Uh, no, I just heard him. Is it roughly there? Uh, I think we lost him. Because he just went muted again. Son of a bitch shit. Um. Well. Uh, I, I can't remember. Were you guys saying... Did he, did he say he wanted to go this way? Like off-road and then to the road? Or just go straight to the road? He did say. Oh, he didn't. He, yeah. Um, if I was gonna make, I it, think he was, was favoring the offer road. Hold on. Uh, what, what, Bill? Yeah. Um, did he? Uh, he mentioned off road. I'll go off road. Okay. So you guys are going to, uh, go, uh, here, over this. So now, uh, first roll of the campaign. So, uh, because due to the weather, um, it's going to be a case where every shift. Uh, you are going to have to make stamina rolls due to the cold climate. I will roll for laser. Um, so, and he does have a ranger. Oh shit! I had Bravo squad selected. So what I'll do actually is uh, drag your guys' uh, tokens onto the thing. Um, hold on. So, um. Gunner, Benson, there we go. So you guys can actually select your characters to roll. Um, wow. Do you want to push that? I'm going to push that. All right. Um, so you take one point of damage. Oops. Uh, are you kidding me? If I already had a, a one, do I already... Campaign. <laughs> if, I, if I already had a one, I, I already get the point of them. I must have fallen anyway. in the water. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. This is just terrible. Oh, oh my God. I see the one. What the fuck? Everyone has, I feel like everyone's has rolled a one. What kind of dice did you load into this, Cody? <laughs> it's going great, guys. It's all going well. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna lose the IFV through mechanical issues at this point. So, and I, I feel like Lazer would well. probably push, so... Oh, he... Oh, that, oh, I had Gunner selected, but that was supposed to be a uh, laser. I mean, I was going to push as well, so I guess that works. <laughs> okay, well, hold on, I'll just, I'll just re-roll that. I would that. love just... to push, but you can't. <laughs> I wait, I just... Wait. So since I already had a... <laughs> Okay, I just I had to reroll that. Alright, uh, so I already had a one rolled, so if I pushed it, I, I I automatically take an extra point. Yeah, because if you push whenever you've taken damage or or you've gotten a splat, then you would automatically take either damage or stress. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so um just to see so Riley failed. Um 
uh, let's see who else. Uh, Jensen failed. Gunner failed. Actually, no, Gunner succeeded. Um, so in terms of the players who didn't succeed, Jensen uh, and Riley, uh, you guys would actually, I think you become hypothermic. Perfect. Um, so let me just double check travel. Um, let's see what hypothermia. Actually, is hypothermia listed in travel or is it somewhere else? Conditions under uh, combat. Uh, combat and damage. Uh, what section is it in? What's the name of the? Oh, I, was... oh I, see, I see it. I see it. Um, I was just talking about on the sheet. Yeah. Okay. So conditions. Okay. So hypothermic. Um, you immediately suffer one point of damage and one point of stress. Um, and only after you have warmed up can you heal damage or stress. So everybody who is hypothermic, uh, whether you push or not, you also take a damage of the stress. Um, but you make it to the edge of the road, um, as, let's see, what is up next? So, um, so as you are nearing the base, uh, off in the distance, um, you actually notice, like, from the higher position you're at, you actually see a pretty sizable convoy of separatist vehicles, including trucks and two armored troop transports, heading along the road away from FOB Taurus, um, but due to the distance, they don't seem to notice you. Oh, crap, I think we're too late. <laughs> you you fucking think? cold. <laughs> <laughs> fucking oh, cold. Don't be weak. <laughs> Got, got to get back to base. <laughs> don't shiver. <laughs> or, uh, um, don't be... I'd like to take out a set of binoculars and assess the damage, of course. Uh, assess from here? Yeah. Well, the problem I is I don't the think base. binoculars... What's the range on them? Good question. What presented? Uh... They give a two to recon, but the problem is, is that from your current distance, because each of these hexes is like a, a kilometer, I think. So you would have yeah. to get in closer. Okay. Um, I would like to use my eavesdrop com slicer to see if there's any chatter I can pick up on. Okay. Um. So use the. Co oh, hold on. I'll, I'll also add that to your sheet if it's not already there. Uh. Oh, you, no. Never mind. You already wrote it in. I I popped it on. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, Com Slicer, I can't remember what... Here I am. I'm the one who came up with it, and I don't fucking remember what it does. Um, so you roll command, okay. And, uh, if it's successful, you get a piece of tactical chatter, so. Is it command or tech? If it's, it's command, command, I maybe shouldn't have taken this, uh, this bit of equipment. Um, well, I'm considering, like, sort of retconning it to where it's command or tech, because I, I can see it going both ways. Uh, what do you guys think? If it's comms, it should be tech. Okay, then. I feel like it's more more so tech, because I understand how it would be command. Well, I inspired how it would be command by the fact of how modern rumor is. So, yeah, we'll say it's it's tech. All right, so roll tech. All right, Um. so the piece of information you get, you hear, like you briefly mentioned, like from the convoy, the separatist convoy that's passing by. Um. You hear them mentioning that they, uh, um, oh, I just need to double check something right quick. Um, so, um, and also, and it is also trans translated. Um, so you hear them mentioning the facts like, well, you know, uh, we took out the, uh, you know, they're, they're reporting to somebody, they're saying, you know, the IMC base has been neutralized. Um, you know, we've, we've gathered up, we've, you know, we've gathered up most of the, like the remaining Marines, and we're RTB now. So that's what you would gather with the comm slicer. Well, I guess we were right, or I was right. We are too late. They really rolled over us, didn't they? I'm sorry, where was the 
the convoy we saw, and which direction were they headed? So the convoy, hold on, let me delete the old, uh, the old lines. So the convoy was actually heading past you. It's like going this way. Like, it was passing by off in the distance, heading uh, southeast. And you saw it was like there were several trucks, uh, APCs, um, etc. Alright, I think we should head to we should still head to Taurus and uh, keep a lookout for anyone who's lived or who's still alive. Anything out we can, you know. Could, oh, could, 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 could be casualties. Uh, check this. Uh, I, I did. Table Alpha. Oh, table. Oh, table yeah. Alpha. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't have that muted. Uh, oh, laser rifle. Okay. Um, so well, do you guys want to all call it here? Leave it on a cliffhanger. I feel like if um if la if uh, laser you know our commander or rather not a commander squad leader can't communicate with us, I feel like a good place to end it off. Okay, so we'll, this sort of is like the prologue, I guess. Then, um, yeah. so okay, so we'll call it here then.